Hello, I am Dr. Ajay Sharma. Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, James Engineering Management Technical Campus, Eton, Noida. The subject that I teach in this semester for electronics and communication engineering students is digital communication. The topic that I discuss today is pulse code modulation. Okay, I just start with what is modulation? Modulation is a process of varying one or more parameters of a carrier signal in accordance with the instantaneous value of the message signal. Means in modulation process, we have a signal which we call as a carrier signal. And signal has three parameters. One, its amplitude. Second, its frequency. Third, its phase. So basically, carrier signal have three parameters. Amplitude, frequency, and phase. So we have to change any one of the parameter at a time. And the remaining two are unchanged. Means, we have to change any one parameter out of three with respect to amplitude of the message signal. Message signal is that signal that is full of information. So the information signal, the information signal is also called as a message signal, right? So what we do in modulation, we have to change one of the parameter, which includes amplitude, frequency, and phase change with respect to the amplitude of the message signal and that process is called a modulation and as far as pulse code modulation is, con uh, is concerned in this particular process we change a analog signal into a digital signal when we say digital signal means signal that contain information in form of one and zeros right so pulse code modulation what happens in pulse code modulation? We have to change analog signal into a digital signal. Digital signal means a signal that have ones and zeros, right? So the output of the PCM, so the output of the PCM will be a binary sequence, right? Look at the picture. In, in this particular picture, we have an analog signal which we have in the form of sine wave. Actually, sine waves resembles analog signals. Analog signal is that type of signal that change every instant of time, as you see in the picture one. We have a sinusoidal signal. Sinusoidal signal is considered to be analog signal where it change its amplitude at every instant of time. And the second picture is the PCM output, which is a digital signal. So this sine wave converted into this a digital signal, which is in the form of zeros and one. That we can do in pulse code modulation. So instead of pulse frame, PCM produces a series of number of digits, and hence this process is called a digital. Each one of these digits, though in binary code, represent the approximate amplitude of a signal amplitude at that instant means that uh, the whatever the output we have in PCM, of course, it's a train of zero and one, actually it represent a it's an analog signal at every instant. In pulse code modulation, the message signal is represented by a sequence of coded pulse. This message signal is achieved by representing the signal in discrete form in both time and amplitude. So basically, if you talk about the, this whole PCM process, this P, if, pro process uh, in this PCM system, we have a two, two, two system work together. One is PCM transmitter side, another is PCM receiver side. In between, this is a channel, right? 
So as far as the PCM transmitter is concerned, we have three processes that involved at transmitter. One process is of sampling, another is quantizing and encoding, right? These are very three important process that they involve in this PCM system as far as the PCM transmitter is concerned. Sampling is a process that can be done by a sampler. Quantizing is a process that is done So there are three important processes in pulse code modulator circuit. It's sampling, quantizing, and encoding. These are performed at the transmitter side. And this three process responsible for the conversion. Conversion of analog to digital side signal, right? There are also low pass filter that is used in before sampling that we will discuss in next uh, diagram, next slides. So, this is the transmitter section of a pulse code modulator circuit. Now come to receiver section. Receiver section have three processes: regeneration of impaired signals, impaired signals, decoding, and reconstruction of the quantized pulse frame. So we will discuss all these processes with block diagram in the next slide. So next slides have a block diagram of PCM system. Look at this is block diagram. First, we have an analog message signal. Actually, message signal is generally a analog, analog wave signal, means that signal change every moment of time, right? Every instant of time. This signal should be passed through low pass filter. And what is the function of low pass filter? The function of this low pass filter is to, you know, you know, uh, to eliminate the that type of frequency that is greater than the maximum frequency of this analog signal, right? So what is the function of this LPF? The function of this low pass filter is to eliminate those type of frequency components that are that are greater than the maximum frequency of this analog message signal, right? And then come to the sampler. Sampler is do sampling process means this particular sampler take the sample according to the sampling theorem from analog signals. And after that, after the sampler, we have a certain voltage levels. Now these voltage levels should be quantized by the process quantization, and this can be done by quantizer. So we have a we have different voltage levels, and all voltage levels are in uh, real numbers. Now that real numbers four, three, two, one, seven, eight, nine are converted in into one and zero with the help of encoder. So encoder do en encoder do encoding process where where the real numbers are converted into one and zero train. And after that, we have a one zero train that represent the whole analog signals. And with the help of, uh, you know, a channel, this signal is to be, is to be passed through the channel. And in, in, in channel, at a, at a certain distance, we place regenerative, regenerative repeaters. Why? Because the signal is decay with the distance. The signal amplitude decay with the distance. The signal to give to, to, to give strength to the signal, we always use regenerative repeaters. So the function of these regenerative repeaters that are placed at some distance in channels, the function is that to strength our uh, cha strength our this PCM signal. Now this PCM signal reach to the receiver side. First we uh, there is a regeneration circuit there after a decoder decoder is a decoder or you may say decoder to decoding actually decoding is inverse of encoding means if encoder convert 4321 into 1010 this decoder do convert 1010 into 4321 right so this the function of this decoder is decoding decoding is a process where the where the 1 and 0 string are converted into real numbers then there is a reconstruction filter. The function of reconstruction filter to 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 just shape uh, to to just shape this particular signal to uh, or to, to shape or to match this signal with the signal that is to be sent from the transmitter, which is the analog signal. And this is the destination. 
so this is a very very you know complete picture of this pcm system how this pcm system works and this is a very important block diagram as far as the examination is concerned many times this particular question can be asked in the examination draw the block diagram of pcm and explain it so this is the question that come in the examination so so block diagram that we already discussed first we have a low pass filter this filter eliminates the high frequency component present in the input analog signal which is greater than the highest frequency of the message signal to avoid aliasing of the message signal then we have a sampler this is the technique which helps to collect the sample data at instantaneous value of the message signal so as to reconstruct the original signal signal the sampling rate must be greater than twice the highest frequency component of the message signal this is the condition for the sampler to work this is the condition of the sampling theorem that the sampling should be greater than or equal to the maximum frequency twice the maximum frequency component present in the message signal right then this is a quantizer quantizing is a process of reducing the excessive bits and confining the data the sampled output when gives to quantizer reduces the redundant bits and compress the value then we have an encoder the digitization of analog signal is done by encoder it designates each quantized table by a binary code the sampling done here is the sample and hold process these three sections low pass filter sampler and quantizer will act as an analog to disturb the water so encoding minimize the bandwidth used then we have a regenerative repeaters this section increases the signal strength the output of the channel also has one regenerative repeater circuit to compensate the signal loss and reconstruct the signal and also to increase its strength then we have a decoder which is a part of the receiver the decoder circuit decodes the pulse coded waveform to reproduce the original signal this circuit acts as a demodulator then we have a reconstruction filter at the receiver side after the digital to analog conversion is done by the regenerative circuits and decoder a low pass filter is employed called as a reconstruction filter to get back the original signal actually the original signal is come from this reconstruction filter right actually it is smooth the original is it is smooth the analog signal uh, that is uh, that is the output of decoder right so the shape of this original signal which is coming from the output of the reconstruction filter exactly match to the input of or you may say the input of the transmitter uh, in pcm system so has the pulse code modulator circuit digitized the given analog signals code it and sample it and then transmit it in an analog form this whole process is repeated in a reverse pattern to obtain the original signal so this is all about the pulse code modulation system or you may say pulse code modulator right so this is the whole explanation of pulse code modulation system actually this system have two parts one is pcm transmitter another is pcm receiver pcm transmitter have certain parts like sampler like quantizer like encoder then we have a pcm receiver it again had a certain parts decoder uh, decoder you know reconstruction filter you know these these are part of uh, the pcm receiver and in between pcm transmitter and receiver there is a channel and the actually this is the basic concept involved in communication you always have a transmitter you always have a receiver you always have a channel so this is the whole explanation this is a complete explanation of pulse code modulation system thank you very much